Hi, this is Will McNichol here at the North American Guitar. Thrilled that you could join me for another instalment of the Composer series. This is where I take one of these wonderful guitars and write a short piece on the instrument for the instrument inspired by its particular tonal characteristics and personality. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in. And today I've been having a great time getting to know this guitar by Mark Maingard. It is a grand concert model and it has got Brazilian rosewood back and sides with an Italian spruce top. It's been an absolute joy to write on this, so what I'd like to do first is play you what I've come up with, and then I'll discuss a little bit about some of the compositional ideas the guitar gave me as I was writing. So, here we go. So one of the things that I really responded to right from the word go on this guitar was the bass strings. They had a really nice deep dark tone to them and I decided to try the guitar in an open tuning to make the most of those and I put it into open G minor tuning. So let me just talk you through that quickly. What we have from the sixth string is uh, D, G, D, G, B flat and D. And once I was in that tuning I was messing around on how to kind of introduce the bass notes give them room to breathe whilst introducing a bit of a main theme and that's where the introduction of this tune kind of came from. Another thing I really enjoyed exploring on this guitar were the really resonant mids and incredibly articulate trebles and that was the inspiration for that quite rhythmic main theme that made the most of all the strings. To bring that main theme to a close, I made the most of the power of this guitar by throwing in a couple of really punchy chords and then a bit of a slurred lick um, because this thing just plays like butter. To bring the first section of the piece to a conclusion, I decided to make the most of this lovely Florentine cutaway and get up the dusty end of the neck. So I threw in some harmonics and some lovely treble triads, which sounded just fantastic up this end of the neck. There was one more feature of this guitar that I really wanted to make the most of, and that was the really lyrical quality of these trebles. And that's where that final contrasting section was inspired by, giving those treble strings a little bit more time to sustain.
So those were some of my impressions of this really fantastic main guard grand concert guitar. Don't forget to subscribe to the North American Guitars YouTube channel and if you'd like to find out any more information about this instrument please visit the northamericanguitar.com. See you next time.